two, three. Turning ground for a new chapter for FCC soccer. Team executives and Milford City leaders say this new team facility will have a big impact on the area money-wise. This is truly a monumental day for soccer in our region as we formally break ground on our new state-of-the-art training center. Hours before the ceremonial event, Milford native Rachel Richardson filed a lawsuit against the city and five city council members. The suit claims the city violated Ohio's Open Meetings Act when it discussed the FCC deal. The act requires public notification of meetings, including executive sessions that are private, and nothing can be finalized behind closed doors. I am not anti-FCC in Milford. What I am for is Milford Council following the law. Milford residents deserved to have all the information available to them to know the details of this deal. Richardson filed a similar lawsuit against the city two years ago. They settled in 2017 and agreed to training on the law. Richardson says this time around, council can no longer claim ignorance of the law. I thought that the lawsuit settlement was structured in a way that would ensure that these secretive and illegal meetings would not continue. And yet here we are just over a year later and the violations are continuing. And today, no one from FC Cincinnati or city leaders from Milford would comment with us today on this lawsuit. Richardson's attorney says, depending on what a judge decides, this deal could be invalidated. Reporting live in Milford, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5.